Oh, it's nine. Oh, it's nine. What do you hear? What do you say on you with Uncle Tony? Hey, Tony, this is Madeline. I'm calling from Dallas. Oh, shit. Hello. Hello, Madeline. Yeah, I came down to Dallas looking for Willie Wong. Willie Wong? I haven't even heard from him. I haven't heard from Willie Wong. Well, a couple months ago, Pastor Ken said that Willie Wong was going to Dallas. I mean, yeah, he he went down there after you tried to uh, uh, impregnate yourself with his babies, which you murdered because you were sticking uh, uh, tampons full of uh, uh, the, the, the alcohol up your, up your pooter. Well, can you give me Pastor Ken's private number? I may go to San Antonio and look for him, too. Also, I had a beautiful offer for you. I could, I will pay for you to come down to Dallas because I know you need a break with everything uh, on JetBlue, of course, and then we can have sex under the beautiful ah. sky because it's been so, it's been so warm in Dallas this winter. I. That's why I came down. That's why I came down here, Tony, because it's warm. Madeline, Madeline, what you just said was repulsive, and I'm gonna vomit all over my laptop. Okay, Madeline. I don't care what sky you're under. I don't care if you're under the, the warm southern sky that you're under right now, a cold, dark sky, a fiery, burning sky from hell. I will not have sex with you under any sky, under any circumstances. Stop asking me to have sex with you. But why would you say that after you put out a video with Ken? I thought that was really hot. I just fingered myself in the hot tub no, at my house. No, have sex with Ken. Ken is with Tony, not me. They're in Texas, okay? And everybody blames Pastor Ken about stuff. And I never had sex with him. We were not in a porno together. That's something that that fucking Rico made up, okay? They don't believe her. Did you, have sex, did you have sex with that Fatata guy then? No, I didn't have sex with the Fatata guy. The video's supposed to be supposedly me and Ken, the Red Ranch guys, and then him and I had sex after. It's a lie, okay? It's a lie. But it was really hot. Why won't you just come down to Dallas? I'll pay for you. You can get on no. JetBlue in the morning. No. You know I love Jet. You know I love JetBlue. I, I know you love JetBlue, but that has nothing to do with me. I'm not getting on any airplane. But we can have sex in the park. No, we're not having sex anywhere. Get out of here. God damn it. Madeline, leave me. Leave leave everybody alone. Just leave everybody alone. You're all sick. I mean, you're going to get them all sick. Holy shit. About 15 years ago, uh, my best friend in the world and I went hunting. And we used to go hunting every few months. And uh, I'd known this man all my life. And uh, we had a good day hunting. We set up camp, built a campfire. We sitting around the fire, drinking a couple of beers, shooting a bull like we always do. He got real quiet. I knew there was something on his mind, and I said, Terry, I said, what's wrong? And uh, he came out to me. Wow. I was I was blindsided. Um, this is a man who uh, I'd known my whole life. Um, I just sit there. I, I listen to him, and after I killed him, I chopped up his body and I buried uh, him with his cock in his mouth. No, no, no! Don't commit. Okay, listen. Get out of here. If you guys are gonna commit, okay. Fuck. I'm not a weirdo. Yeah, you're worse than evil Colonel Sanders. You guys are going to call here. Don't call here and, commit, and confess that you fucking committed a murder on the air. I don't want to be an accessory to a murder, to a murder, because that makes me an accessory, all right? And I don't want to sit here and deal with, um, you, you know, I'm already an accessory to child neglect. Jesus Christ. I, I, I'm not, no, don't, don't call here. Guys, holy shit. 
Moving on. A five seven. A five seven. What do you hear? What do you say? Hello, Tony. No. Okay, listen to me. No, I'm not Here listening to you. You're better poor Here. now. You're your friend, <laughs> Rico. Rico. Ramosito. Martini. I know your name, stupid. And I want you to come clean. Tony, I want you to tell everybody the truth. Like you. We're doing dick sock. And ball uh, fuck. And no. touch. And what ass touch. And ass fuck. And ass lick. In the dirty video called Oh Holy Night. A production of a Ram Ranch studio. Starting no, I wasn't in a production of Ram Ranch. Shut up! Shut up! Don't lie to me, Tony. I'm telling you the truth. I tell your listeners the truth. I have a photos of you with a dick in your mouth. And you probably have a dick up your eyes. And then in a part of the video, I have a clip to shut up. I have a clip, Tony. Of Don't you tell me to shut up, you lying it. shit. Uh, uh, you, you are eating a pasta while you have a Viagra pill up your asshole. Viagra, my asshole. Everybody uh, uh, who are fucking you, uh, spray your ass cheek open while a pastor can eat a Viagra out of your asshole. And now then you he are hard, And then you guys did more sex. After the guys are on the train on you. No, you son of a bitch. No one ran a train on Listen, I want, I wish it wasn't true because you are a hero to me. You are a hero to me. <laughs> you break my corazón, Tony. You break my corazón. You break my corazón, Tony. It is not good to be gay. Do not be gay. Do not be gay like the guy that emailed you tonight. Don't be gay. Gay is not good. Uh, Dick suck not good. You you break me corazón, Tony. I didn't break you or anything, you idiot. Get out of here. And you're telling me dick suck's not good. You you just it's all you say is dick suck. It's all, you read songs about it. You, what the fuck is wrong with you? Holy shit! You want to talk about uh you, you want to talk about that caution homosexuals? That's one right there. They just called in here. Talking about dick sucking ball fight. He's fucking nuts. He's nuts. You shut them wrong with him. Mother of God, I can't. I... One, one, one. You're the first call of the night. What are you hearing? Good evening what here, you... Mr. Tony. This here is Mr. Benjamin Buford Fontaine calling you from one of my business locations down here in New Orleans, Louisiana. How are you today, Mr. Tony? Okay. I'm, I'm fine now. Well, you know what time it is here. I decided to give you a week to make your decision and I'll never, never let anybody take more than a, a minute or two to make decisions when I ask them questions, Mr. Tony. So the fact that you had seven days makes me believe that you have finally reached a conclusion in your mind. <sighs> Wait a minute, Mr. Tony. Excuse me for one minute. I have to let my uh my chauffeur, my manservant here, bring me a Saint Polly girl, since I a non-alcoholic, of course. Uh, Nigglesworth. Yes, Mr. Nigglesworth. Please bring br bring me my my Saint Polly girl, non-alcoholic, right here. That's a disgusting name. That's a disgusting name. Thank thank you, Mr. Nigglesworth. Now, as Nigglesworth was getting my bill for me, I was wondering, um, have you finally reached a conclusion here? Yes, I did. And I'm not selling my show. I'm not giving my rights over. No, I'm not doing that. My okay. question is... Uh, All right, well... I was afraid you'd say that, Mr. Tony. 
I was afraid you'd say that. Nigga's wife, please do me a favor and um, get the private airplane ready. Private airplane? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good evening there, Mr. Tony. <laughs> Nigga's wife, we're flying to Boston. Let's get our asses and get Hey, fuck. You're not. Okay, so I got evil Colonel Sanders who doesn't even call in about the subject of the show. And now he's trying to tell me he's flying to Boston. That's great. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Th- thank you. Thank you for calling. Th- thank you for calling. Back to the phones. Okay, well, since. I guess we did the whole debate thing. Um, my caller, another caller dropped. I, I don't know when. Sorry, buddy. These guys are dropping. But um, listen, I, I personally, I respect your opinion. Um, now, remember, I don't have to agree with it. Who oh, I am? I'm, mostly I don't. Um, however, I do appreciate you giving me another side of the story to look at. Uh, I just hope that all the niggers in the world just die. And all the Mexicans go to hell. Oh, you son of a bitch. Don't ever call my show again. Don't you ever talk like that again. You racist son that's, of a bitch. Get out of here. That's racist, you son. He wasted time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry that that son of a bitch wasted time. All he did was say he, he has no respect. That, that son of a bitch. That son, that son of a bitch. 708. 708 is the next caller. And if you don't like the way my voice sounds, you can hang up. Okay? 708. 708, what are you doing? Ah, hello there, Tony. How are you today? Oh, yes. Um, my name is uh, Shelley Hamo Shanahan. And uh, I was wondering, Tony, I listened to your show for quite a long time here. And I was wondering... What exactly? What exactly is a ball fuck? Uh, that is Tony, what exactly? I heard the fellow Rico calling in here. He, he rolls his tongue like that, right? He goes, Rico. But I heard him call in here a couple of times and talk about. He was talking about a dick sock and an ass fuck. And then the fellow brought up a ball fuck. And I was wondering, Tony, how exactly what? is it that one person can take their testicles? Turn them inside out like a ball tunnel and have another man stick their penis inside there and thrust until they shoot warm, creamy jizz all over the other man's stomach. I don't know. It's rather, it's rather a hard task. Yeah, get out of here. It's a hard task. I know. Okay, if you guys are going to call in here and ask me questions about Rico's sexual desires and sick fantasies, Save the damn phone call. I don't know anything about what Rico says. He talks about dick suck, ball fuck. That's not what my show is about. It's not about dick sucks and everything. 617 Boston. 617. What do you hear? What do you say? My name is Cleveland Brown, and I am proud to be right back in my hometown with my new family. Which do nods and assholes and all ghost questionnaires. I want you to know you can all kiss my ass. Yeah, I know the song. I Googled it and I found the show, the Cleveland show. And um, I actually kind of enjoy it. It's kind of weird that he's got, he's got a, he's friends with a beer. It's weird. But anyway, yeah, I Googled it and I ended up liking the show. So thank you very much. Son of a bitch. Let's see, uh, 917, 917, be a good call, we have less than an hour left, what do you hear, what do you say? Oh, yes, my dear, oh, uh, uh, hello? Yes, hello? Uh, I, 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 yes, I am listening to the show. No, you're not. You're uh, I, I am listening to the show. No, you're not. Go get in here. I, I gotta go. Was that Fontaine? Get out of here! Guys, if 
You're going to call my show. Do not call my show and masturbate on the air. What is wrong with you? Don't do that. Don't masturbate on the air. It's disgusting. It's, it's not good. You need to I calm down. I love Tony mom in her roof, asshole. You son of a bitch, you fucking cocksucker. Don't call my show no more. You drunk piece of shit. Get out of here. Don't ever call my show. You're supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to be my friend. You tell you fuck you mother. I get in there. I'll be right back. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. I I, I need to take a break. I need to take a break. I'll be you fucking cocksucker. I'll be right back. Son of a bitch. Fucking asshole. Talk about my dead mother. Talk about my mother. You fuck. I'm gonna message you on Discord, you son of a bitch! Drunk asshole! Fuck face! Fucking asshole. I hope the cops that do come there, um, they beat the fuck out of you. I hope they handcuff you, preferably to a radiator, and beat you with a nightstick. <laughs>